Ryan's been up show ready from Ready's Rides. I'm back here at Moss Nissan in Newport Ritchie, Florida, because guess what? We have it. This is the totally redesigned 2020 Nissan Sentra. And I know you must be saying, well, Joe, haven't you already done this car? Yes, but we do something here on Ready's Rides a lot of other channels and other automotive journalists don't do. We are bringing you a base model. The other two that I brought were fully loaded. This one is that entry level SV of the new Nissan Sentra. But before we dive in, let's talk about this vehicle. So this is their compact car meant to go up against the Mazda 3, Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Honda Elantra. For 2020, they really put a lot of effort into reshaping the car, really bringing it into alignment with the rest of their vehicles, whether it be the Maxima or the Altima with its overall style. But one thing that Nissan is really trying to push is bringing you a lot of standard features, including an eight inch infotainment system screen across the board. But one thing's for certain, has Nissan done enough to really make it be that value price entry level car in the compact car segment? Let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 and find out. Right off the bat, you'll see the new styling, very Maxima-esque. It looks like a baby Maxima on the SV trim. You can see what we're working with with headlight design, no LEDs, on the SV trim, but I, you still get that same shape, and I love the shape of the headlights, the way they integrate into the side of the grill. We drop down, you do have this, I wanna call it like ornamental style decoration. Normally you would have a fog lamp down here on the higher trims. This is just a fake vent, so I am gonna zonk it. I wish they would've just left it smooth, but it's one of those things, that's what happens when you come in at a lower price point. But I do like the way they extend the lower front fascia, we come across the grill, you're gonna get that V-motion. That's what Nissan calls it, that V-motion shape, the gloss black, the chrome finish, that Nissan badge in the center. Same design that you'll find on the Altima or the Maxima. We drop down, you have some flat black, but I really think this blue fits the front end of the Sentra very, very well. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you do have these two body lines start on the front fascia, go into the hood, disappear, and then you have the two higher peaks that flow right into the fender and into the A pillar. Remember the Nissan Sentra for 2020, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit wider. It actually sits a little bit lower as well. When we come around the bend, here's what we're working with, wheel and tire setup. So this is a 16 inch wheel, machine aluminum, gloss black, tasteful looking wheel. I think they should have went more with a 17 inch wheel for the base model, but this is a 16 inch wheel. You do have a very meaty 60 series sidewall, 205 on the width. Love the style that they put in the fender and the good news is they didn't stick any crap on the sides. No fake vents, no emblems, decals, none of that garbage, nice and smooth. You do have color match mirror caps, flat black across the top, little bit of chrome. And I like the way it almost comes into a, a hockey stick design as we get towards the rear. Even the way they do the belt line, it's fascinating because you have your belt line here, it disappears and then it picks back up again. Nice styling, it looks very, very sharp. You have that floating roof design which Nissan actually first used on the Maxima, the current generation when they first brought it back out. You have your floating roof design here, the way it all flows into that rear pillar. And then when we get to the trunk and the back rear end of the vehicle, you do have tasteful taillight design. We drop down, where I'm gonna have to zonk it is this guy right here. Why oh why did we have to use this honeycomb design? Just because. They could have just left it flat, smooth black plastic. Would have been fine with that. You do have a simulated rear diffuser. And the great news is no exhaust, no fake exhaust, not a little dinky pipe. It's just nice and clean from the back. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this all new Sentra. All right, guys, we do have the hood pop. The good news is, is that the prop rod is all the way over to the passenger side underneath that hood. Nissan makes it real simple for 2020. One engine, one transmission option. That's it. That's a two liter inline four naturally aspirated engine. You're actually looking at more power for 2020. It's at 149 horsepower, 146 pound feet of torque. The one transmission, unfortunately, and I am going to zonk it, is a CVT. The car weighs in around 3,151 pounds. MPGs is where you're gonna really shine in this vehicle. 28 in the city, 37 on the highway, zero to 60 in eight seconds. May sound super slow 
and I would say you're right, but the great news is if you look at the last generation, zero to 60 was 10 seconds. So they did shave two seconds off that zero to 60 time. But why don't we get to the interior and see what big things this compact car is bringing for 2020. All right, guys, we're inside the Nissan Sentra 2020 redesign. This one being the SV. Remember, we're the first to bring it on YouTube or really in the automotive world to you. I know you're saying, well, Joe, this is a base model. How much is it? You're looking at an MSRP right around $21,400, but that price may surprise you as we get closer to where I'm sitting. Let's check out the door panels. I love what they did. Even though this is a base model, soft touch across the top, Love that leatherette uh, material with the white contrast stitching. Armrest nice and soft with the white contrast stitching. There is a little bit of faux carbon fiber, which I'm gonna zon because it just looks out of place, but I guess it's better than just regular flat black plastic. You do have a cubby down there for a couple bananas and a nice bottle of some ginseng water. We get to the dash, here's where Nissan really elevated it. Look at this, feel fit and finish, love the stitch work. A Little bit of gloss black, but it's a good looking AC vent. We get to the center stack, here's where it comes alive. These AC vents really simulate what you would find in a Mercedes-Benz. I know that sounds crazy to say, but really look at my Mercedes-Benz videos. You have these aeronautical style gauges here in the center. Let me point one at Tom so we'll keep him cool. We have an eight inch infotainment system screen. That's what you get across the board. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, real easy to use, real easy to get through the different settings. Obviously it's a touch screen and whatnot, makes life simple. We drop down, you have dual climate control. Yes, in a base model. And you have 12 volt USB, USB-C and an aux jack. Plus think about this, what can you put here? Three Musketeers, Payday, 100 grand, maybe a Heath bar. Everybody forgets about the Heath bar. Put some Heath bars down there, a little bit of toffee crunch. I like where they put the start stop button. This is gonna control that CVT transmission. A Little bit of gloss black, a little bit of silver. They got a nice breath mint holder here. They brought back the faux carbon fiber over here and I'm still scratching my head why, but it is what it is. You do have your key fob with remote start. It is dated, but the good news is it won't poke you in the family jewels when it's in your pocket. So I do like that. Armrest, very soft. The stitch work is great. Open it up and you could easily put two softballs in there. So if you're done playing with your balls, you can put them in there. And guess what? Seats. They are cloth, but you know what? I feel like it's going to wear very nicely. And they did a great job with the contrast stitching and not making the fabric look too funky. You do have manual controls, of course, for the passenger and the driver at this trim level. I'm glad they went with a lighter headliner cover just because everything else in here is dark. But room is really great. And connectivity, they got you covered. Coming over the business end though, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this SV trim Sentra. All right guys, business time. Here's your manual seat controls. Easy to use, easy to operate. This does come standard across the board with Nissan's 360 shield protection. All that nice safety feature, the blind spot monitoring, gonna make sure you arrive alive every single time. Steering wheel, I always chuckle to myself because it's a flat bottom steering wheel. It actually looks really sporty in this Sentra. Flat black on the buttons, a little bit of silver ties it in with the Nissan badge. No paddles to do any simulated shifting, even though there is simulated shift points in the CVT. And then instrumentation across the board, you're gonna have analog tack, speedometer, fuel gauge, and coolant gauge. And then you have that seven inch display in the center, which you could toggle through a cornucopia of information. It is color, it is clear. You have lane keep assist. This is at $21,000, guys. So these are things that you need to be taken into consideration when looking for your compact car. Let's check out the back seats and see how your passengers are gonna like the new Sentra. All right guys, back seat time. Getting in, the doors are a little tight, but you know what, once you're in, I'm six feet tall and I'm not touching the headliner. Plenty of leg room here. Cloth all the way around, no pocket for the passenger on this side, but I do have a pocket for an abacus, a calculator. Maybe I wanna put a banana in here or two. You do, look at this, base trim SV, you do have a USB back here. We have been in higher trims of other models, whether it's a competitor of the Sentra or even higher, and they don't have USB in the back. And on top of that, boom, armrests. Nice and soft, two cup holders. You could put some candy in there if you don't wanna put any drinks in there, flip it back. Let's go check out the trunk and see how usable this Sentra really is. All right, guys, time to check out the junk in the trunk. We hit the button, you flip it up. Look at all that space. 
Nice wide opening. Those seats are going to do a 60-40 split. We got the cargo net up just to show you that we don't screw around on Rady's rides. So you got your cargo net operation there. But really shows the versatility of the Sentra with the amount of room that you have for trunk space. So happy to see that Nissan has not given up on sedans like some other brands. Hint, hint, Ford. But why don't we go ahead, let's take this Sentra for a spin and see how it drives. All right, guys, we left Maz Nissan. We're in the 2020 Nissan Sentra. That SV trim, we've already done the top trims. Nice to be able to do what a lot of people can afford, that entry level trim. And you know what? Car still drives the same, just as those higher trims. Now, obviously, there's no leather in here and whatnot, but still, seats are comfortable. They feel good. Same great visibility out the front, out the back, really great. Side mirrors are awesome. You got your blind spot monitoring to uh, let you know if anybody's in your blind spot iPad style infotainment system, you know, I think uh, it's one of those hate it or love it things. Looks very similar to what some more upscale brands are doing, which is nice. You have your AC vents, nicely placed, dual climate control. Another thing that I love about this Sentra is guess what? There's no automatic start stop feature. Think about that. Everybody hates turning those things on and off and it really makes it great to not have to deal with that. Now, same CVT transmission, the simulated shifts are doing a pretty good job of keeping that overall RPM drone down, and that's a good thing. I do like the steering wheel in these um, Sentras, even though they look like they're out of a GTR. Uh, very, very thick, nice 10 and two notches. Let's see how she handles into this right-hand turn. Remember, front wheel drive, on throttle. So actually quite composed for the Sentra going through the twisty bits. They actually reworked the rack in the Nissan Sentra to give a little bit better feedback and overall um, better experience while using the vehicle in the twisty bits. And it really does show in this 2020 Nissan Sentra. Looking at the gauges, do it at a quick glance, real clean, clear, concise. And overall, the, the seats are comfortable. I, I think for $21,000, they definitely have done a great job of bringing a lot. Is it perfect? Heck no. Is any car perfect? No. But they're definitely moving in the right direction. Guys, acceleration from a dead stop on throttle. So, like I said, you're not winning any races, but you did just shave two seconds off the previous generation of the Nissan Sentra, which is really great. And I'm telling you, the feedback that I'm getting to the steering wheel, I really, really am liking, especially through like that long right-hand bend. Watch this, back on throttle. Remember, we got the little 16-inch wheels here. She handles great. Super smooth. Cabin overall is very quiet, uh, so I think they did a really good job with their sound deadening materials and overall the stability of the vehicle. All right, guys, been another great day here at Moss Nissan. Definitely got to thank David Moss, Christian, the rest of the crew getting us access to this all new 2020 Sentra SV trim. Is Nissan doing the business with their compact car? I think they are really working hard, moving in the right direction, and they're bringing a value at $21,000 a lot of stuff in this Nissan Sentra. But if it's cars like these, these compact cars that you wanna keep seeing on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razorize family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Razorize Rise merch. You gotta get out the Big Guns McGee. He's sweating like a gorilla out here. He is a gorilla. That's what they call him. So thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.